Hello everyone, here is Karam. In this tutorial, you will learn how to simulate a transonic flow over a two-dimensional airfoil and compare the results with experimental data. At the end of the tutorial, you will learn how to solve compressible flow and how to compute lift and drag in external aerodynamics applications. Now, drag fluid flow fluent with a fluent meshing and then import your geometry. After that, open the Fluent Launcher window, tick double precision, and select four solver processes for this tutorial, and click Start. First step, click on Import Geometry. Here we can see the geometry that I imported, and the unit is meter. After that, Click Import Geometry. The next step is to add local sizing. A local face size will be applied to the airfoil surfaces to prevent the mesh from becoming too coarse near the airfoil surface. So, I will select here yes, and then for the name, type airfoil, and the type will be face size, and then the target mesh size will be 0.015, and then select the phase zone label, airfoil lower and airfoil upper and click add local sizing after that we need to add proximity sizing so select the type here proximity and then the name will be te proximity for the local minimum size will be 0.005 and the maximum size will be 0.5 the cells pair gap will be 2 and scope to edges and the face zone label will be airfoil TE and then add local sizing the next step is to create surface mesh set minimum size to 0.005 and the maximum size 0.5 regarding the size functions will be curvature and for the curvature normal angle will be 12 and then create surface mesh The maximum skewness, as you see, 0.79. In this case, our geometry is just a fluid, so I will select the geometry consists of only fluid regions with no voids, and then I will select Describe Geometry. Update Boundaries tab. You will assign the boundary names and the types for each zone to be able to define boundary conditions in ANSYS Fluent. Regarding the boundary types, they will be as they are, no changes are required. Then you click Update Boundaries. And then in Update Regions tab, the region type will be fluid, so click Update Regions. After that, right click on Update Region and insert Next Task and add boundary type. This will be Far Field. And the boundary type pressure far field, and the zones will be this zone and this zone. So we add this boundary type to combine these two zones. So ANSYS asks me 
if I want to merge the zones, so the answer will be yes, and then add boundary type. Right click on add boundary type and far field and click select mark as updated. The next step to add boundary layers. So the, the offset method type will be uniform and the number of layers will be 20 and the growth rate will be 1.2 and for the first height 2e for the power of minus 5 and click add boundary layers after that generate volume mesh and click generate volume mesh As you can see, the minimum orthogonal quality is 0.19, which is very good. Now select switch to solution mode to open ANSYS Fluent. Now the first step in ANSYS Fluent to check the mesh and make sure that the minimum volume is a positive number and then you can check the quality and after that let us go to physics and tick energy and set the operating pressure to zero pascal after that in physics tab select viscous and select the turbulent model so here we will select k omega sst sst k omega model is always preferred for aerodynamic flows the Reynolds number in this case is 12 times 10 to the power of 6. And then select press OK. After that, click material and select ideal gas for density. And then select Sutherland for viscosity. The Sutherland model for viscosity is well suited for high speed compressible flow. Keep the default 3 coefficient method and click OK. Change create and close. After that, we will define cell zones and boundary conditions. So go to boundary conditions, double click and select far field. Click edit and the Mach number here for this case is 0.7 and the angle of attack is 1.55. So the flow direction is 0.99978 and 0.02079. Regarding the intensity and viscosity ratio, this will be 1 and this will be 1. And the gauge pressure will be 73,048. Thermal, this will be 283.24. And click apply close no other inputs required for boundary conditions now click on methods and select coupled coupled scheme is recommended for compressible flows activate high order term relaxation and where face gradient correction this is was already activated by default because the mesh has polyhedral cells the pseudo transient and high order term relaxation options often help to stabilize the convergence behavior. The next step is to define drag coefficient. So, from solution tab, click on definitions and the new forced report drag. Rename it CD report. Select the surfaces airfoil lower and airfoil upper and the report output type will be drag coefficient type the force vector this will be 0.99978 and this will be 0.02079 and tick report file report to plot and then print to console and click ok 
The next step is to define lift coefficient. Select the surfaces and the force vector. And click OK. Now double click on reference values and select compute from far field. After that, the density, velocity, and area values used by Fluent to compute the drag and lift coefficients are based on the entries in reference values. We want to use free stream values of density and velocity, so it is convenient to automatically fill the panel based on the far field boundary. The area is based on the cord length, which is here 1 meter, and the depth in the z direction, which is 0.1 meter, therefore enter a value of 0.1 square meter for the area. Regarding the pressure, this will be 73048 and the density will be 0.8984926 after that click initialize press run calculation Type the number of iterations 50 and then click calculate. Now change the time scale factor to 10 and the number of iteration 100 iteration and then click calculate. As you can see, the solution is converged at 88 iterations. Let us see the drag and lift coefficient. Go to definition and click edit. And then select the drag coefficient report and click compute. And here you will see the drag coefficient and then select the lift coefficient and click compute and here is the lift coefficient and then click close now let us see the contours go to results tab and select contours new contour and let us select the contours of a brusher static brusher and then select the symmetry and click save display and here you can see the pressure contour you can change the color map to float apply close save display and then you can select new contours and select the velocity and add symmetry and select float 
apply close save display and here and here is the velocity magnitude contour also you can see the Mach number contour so go to velocity and select the Mach number at the symmetry color option float apply close save display and we have finished here thanks for watching see you soon in another video goodbye